to share some of the hobby interests I've had in my time here. And today we're going to be talking about a classic war game system called Epic. It's a six millimeter war game that uses dice and complex rules to allow people to recreate the battles of the Horus Heresy. For those of you that are Warhammer 40k experts, you'll recognize that as the time whenever there was a great strife in the galaxy. And those of you who aren't, well, go look up on Wikipedia. They'll give you the whole background about the 40k universe as it's known. Anyway, the first edition came out in 1989. It was called Space Marine. And it relied on these rules, which you can see are quite extensive, to provide a way of taking army units composed of armored vehicles and little soldiers and maneuver them around buildings and through the battlefield terrain in order to accomplish missions that included seizing enemy territory, destroying enemy armies, defending friendly units against the attacks and so on. It's a lot of fun. Now it relied on very sophisticated computing technology, dice, and probability statistics to let you know whether the units were being effectively engaged or destroyed by the weapons that were fired at them. So it was a lot of fun. But again, back in the 20th century, we had to rely on something called imagination. We didn't have video games that took the place of our own thoughts. So this is how we did it back, way back then. So we'll provide some more information for those of you that are interested. There went, the uh, folks at uh, Games Workshop went through about three or four editions of this, including the uh, 40K that you saw, the uh, Space Marine, and then uh, Titan Legions, and then followed up with Epic 40K, and then it became Armageddon 40K, or Epic Armageddon. So that's where we're going to stop for tonight. We'll be providing some more information, showing all the other materials we have in a future video. So.